everyone has a favorite video game character or two, and someone's likes don't even have to be limited to genre. Someone who loves the high-speed Sonic the Hedgehog games could just as easily love the calmer, more casual Animal Crossing games. Now, the best of both worlds would be to find a game that incorporates both of those series' characters and maybe even the game's playstyles. That's where crossovers come in. And no, I'm not talking about basketball crossovers. I'm talking about games that include characters from at least two different series. Games like Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe and Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games, to name a few. Crossovers have been increasingly popular over the years, with some games like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and Fortnite taking the term to the extreme. But what is it about crossovers that make them so appealing to gamers? Now, to start answering this question, we have to ask another question. What are gamers looking for in the games that they play? Obviously, the answer to this question will vary depending on who we ask, but the bottom line is, everyone is looking for something when they play a game. Playing a specific character, playing a specific playstyle, just having some fun, etc. According to game researcher Richard Bartle, there are four main types of player interests in games. These four interests are based on observing and analyzing the behaviors of people playing together in a multi-user game, with each interest being given a descriptive name. The four interests are named killers, achievers, explorers, and socializers. Now, all of those names might not be self-explanatory, so I'll explain all of them while providing some examples. Killer's interests are to interfere with the functioning of the game or the play experience of the players. An example of this would be ganging up on a single player in a free-for-all game of Smash Brothers. Achiever's interests are to accumulate status by beating the rules-based challenges of the game. Examples of this are as simple as trying to beat challenge modes like Wheel Challenge from Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games or Combo Challenge from Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Explorer's interests are to discover the systems that govern the game. An example of this would be exploring the entire island in Fortnite. Socializer's interests are to form relationships with other players. Examples of this could be people bonding while playing a co-op game or forming a rivalry while playing against each other. Now, let's go back to my original question. What is it about crossovers that make them so appealing to gamers? Well, I think that crossovers can easily appeal to all four of the player interests that I mentioned earlier. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate easily appeals to killers with all of the different items that already interfere with the game, which encourages players to do the same. Challenge modes appeal to achievers who aren't satisfied with casual play. Large environments or a large range of choices appeal to explorers who want to discover each and every individual thing about a game. Crossovers have the easiest time appealing to socializers out of all of the four player interests since they bring together fans of all kinds of different series. Plus, many of the biggest crossover games are meant to be games that you can play at the couch with your friends and family which encourages socializing before the game even starts. I think that crossovers are a very interesting concept in games, and with so many small and large-scale crossovers out there already, it's exciting to see what potential crossovers could happen in the future.